Hello and good morning. So, uh, sorry for getting this one out a little bit late, uh, a little bit later than usual anyway. So version 0.92 is finally out. Um, well, I say finally, uh, he actually kind of like announced it and released it within a week, so it was pretty awesome. But uh, but yeah, so we're not quite at the point of that whole like changing all the battle data stuff yet. But uh, he is uh, he is still working on that, so that's coming. But here's the the cool stuff from this one. So first of all, there's a whole bunch of changes, like a bunch of little ones, like for example, Lazarus staff, as in uh, if I can just go ahead and show that thing, Majig here, the thing that looks kind of like a scythe. Yeah, so this thing was given slashing damage instead of crushing, you know, because the thing is like a giant scythe, basically. Um, uh, the uh, the Kadvanga, if I can find it here, is essentially going to be giving um, a little bit of a uh, it's giving a 50 MP instead of a percentage. Uh, basically, that slot was being used for something else. Uh, if you're one of them folks that liked using boulders, uh, so wait, I don't have any boulders on the save file. Why? I don't know. But if uh, if you're one of them folks that likes to use uh, throwing boulders on your monster units, uh, those are over here someplace. There we go. Uh, so if you like using these, well. You know, they're a bit more available now. Uh, before, they were being used in the lobber category, uh, which caused them to uh, consume the item when uh, when thrown, so that's been fixed. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty awesome. And actually, speaking of thrown stuff, if we go over to the items here, friggin', uh, where are they? Where are the shots? Shot, shot, shots, etc. These things are amazing now. So, uh, so yeah, these got boosted pretty significantly. Um, well, I mean... They they were pretty good before, but now uh, these got boosted to the point where they can actually like do about 90% damage on a lot of things. They're pretty expensive at this point, but essentially they're a nice happy medium of between what used to be orbs and what uh, what used to be uh, bombs. So even though they only affect one tile, they are still going to be very significant in terms of damage. They still take Field Alchemy 2 to use, but for example, stuff like the Sonic Shot here, uh, absolutely amazing for completely just destroying uh, enemy casters in, in general. Like these are just pretty much a cleric delete button in a lot of cases, and it's, it's very useful. So if you've never used these before, uh, they're no... They're kind of notable for, um, in, in the base game, they were weirdly enough used for pacifist runs because you could knock stuff down to one health and it would never be fatal, which is weird for a grenade, but hey, whatever floated their goats. But in this case, uh, they are astoundingly fatal, but, uh, but very expensive. So they're essentially, you're literally throwing uh, money at your problems. So these are amazing now. That's that's what I'm trying to get across here. Um, also, uh, ginseng got added, speaking of consumables. So that's over here. Uh, so if you miss the old uh, uh, TP charge stuff, uh, that's, that's available again. So that's over here. Uh, also, if you go down to your... I should have some available to buy in this file. If I don't, I apologize. Yeah, I, I guess I don't, actually. But uh, if we go over here, go ahead and auction... Hi, Berta. Nice knowing you. You're about to become food. So if we go ahead and uh, auction them off. And, uh, yeah, we go ahead and uh, buy their bits. Um, so, yeah, if we go... Oh, there it is. Doip. So they're not nearly as good as they used to be, but they now boost two stats, and they end up... Um, they end up being your kind of late-game cash sink. Oh, hello. There we go. You sit over here. Little Chad likes wanted to give me a hug. It's like, I need, I need hugs right now. So, uh, next up on the list, uh, yeah, uh, so Monster Foods, yeah, they, they will give you a permanent stat boost now. Uh, many people were asking for a late-game cash sink, so that essentially allows you to go and buy a bunch of really expensive food stuff uh, for permanent stats again, uh, so you can have a method aside from cards. Uh, they aren't as amazing as they were before. I believe he was saying they were like three to five point stat boosts before, but I think it's like one to three now. Uh, either way, they're one of your ways for customizing your party into absurdity in, uh, in late game. Uh, so next up, uh, one of the ones that was actually asked for for a, for a decent while there is actually going to be over here. Actually, we can probably just show it off with this book right here. These. So all of the uh, all of the different spell abilities just got renamed to their well, their well hi there. <laughs> Uh, DS3 has been fun with this lately. I don't know if anybody else has been having this problem of it just suddenly deciding to restart itself out of nowhere. Uh, any dang way, so all of these got renamed from French to their actual ability name. 
Uh, this basically means that you can actually see what the hell it is that you're buying. It's a lot less confusing. You don't have to... It, you kind of had this previous thing where you would have to keep in mind, like, the, the French name, the English version of whatever it is that you're trying to buy, and then uh, essentially who can use it, which, let's be honest, was a bit of a bummer in terms of keeping that in mind. I, again, I don't know why they did it that way, because, as it's noted in the changelog, nothing else was French. Like, maybe some of the some of the costumes, like especially the Fusiliers, but, uh, yeah, no. Um, it made no sense for this stuff to be in frickin' French. So, uh, so yeah. Eight years. Still confuse me every single time. Now, uh, let's see. Ninja tools were relocated to consumables so that they're not sold as reagents. Uh, like I said before, reagents are now treasure. We go over here. Go to, go to sell, because, yeah, all of these are, like, just cool crap that you happen to have lying around. Like golden snitches and aphrodisiacs and the Necronomicon and the Stradivarius. It's pretty great. Now, uh, as far as gameplay type stuff, uh, there are some more cool goodies that have happened. Uh, if we go over to a Berserker of some description. Are you a Berserker? I don't even know if I have any Berserkers on this team. But uh, Berserkers got access to... You know what? You look like you should be a Berserker. Let's make you one. They got access to two-handers again. Uh, so basic uh, Western two-hand swords. Uh, so, yeah, those are pretty darn nifty for them. Uh, essentially, these are kind of their accurate option at this point. Uh, so, whereas axes and hammers might give you more armor penetration or, or damage or whatever else you really want to get out of them. Uh, if you want to have an accurate option, uh, two-handers are the way to go here. So, that's pretty darn nifty. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Meditate actually got changed. So if, uh, if you're wondering, uh, one, one of the things that was uh, that was asked a couple times is why I was mentioned early on that uh, Meditate got removed from hats, and then people would ask about that, and they didn't finish reading the rest of it. So before, these things used to have a bonus to Meditate. You might notice that's gone now, because Meditate is actually a percentage-based thing. Actually, wait. Who has Meditate on this team? Where are you? There we go. So it's 10% uh, of your maximum MP, and as a result, all of the MP uh, using classes ended up getting their uh, their actual um, their equipment and their MP scaling went up pretty significantly uh, to essentially allow that 10% to mean a whole lot more. So for example, instead of just a basic uh, magic leaf giving 25, uh, Saria here would be able to use it to get 40. It's so, uh, so yeah, uh, all those MP boosts finally have a purpose. Uh, it's one of those odd duck things that was, uh, that never really made sense in base game because you could boost your MP up to a pretty preposterous degree and it still just wouldn't quite be great. <laughs> so either way, um, so that's been, uh, that's been improved. Now, uh, Rachel skills also, uh, uh, ended up getting their leveling uh, sped up a little bit from uh, 30 to 60% faster, depending on what they use. Uh, active skills got uh, learned at similar classes. Uh, the windows that he mentions are 2 to 10, uh, to 18, uh, 2, 8, 14, 20, 2, 7, 12, 17, 22, that kind of thing. Uh, so basically, just they're learned at different times. Uh, another thing that was changed is the fact that a bunch of classes that are unique, like for example, the Songstress here, um, if there is a class, uh, that uh, that has a unique thing or rather is if you cheat in a unique class for a particular character uh, you're able to uh, actually use it without crashing the game so before if you like for example if i did this the game would just crash uh, so now they have a uh, semi-unique sprite assigned to them so like the buccaneer would be like a, a blue rogue there if i went for for this guy with a with a sage i got this or uh, for example one thing that a few people were uh, we're actually asking about is for the, um, uh, you remember the, uh, the old man, like, uh, Rhymdos, and, um, what the hell the other one is? Well, a few of them were asking to see that sprite in the game, so here we go. So we got Old Lady Sprite over here, and then for the male Astromancer, we have Old Man Sprite. So Old Man and Old Lady finally enter the Smash, as it were. Um, the Fartons get this, uh, this cool, uh, wingling, um, and, like, songstress type situation and or angel knight if that's more your thing you get uh you get some uh, like raven man type stuff going on over here uh, for the white knights you get something like this i mean there's a there's a bunch of cool stuff here like a, a white dragoon it's just it's really cool he, he found ones that are just perfect for all of it i, I think the dragoon is probably my favorite but uh but yeah uh, the only exceptions are stuff like the heretic which will just become her uh, basically, because uh, there really wasn't anything that would that would match that, uh, so they become her. This one becomes uh, this one becomes a necromancer. Apparently, there's next to princesses now. 
but uh, but yeah, they just look like Kashua. Um, the Knight Commander also applies to this. So yeah, all of them all of them have something. So Knight Commander looks like uh, Gitalio, both male and female versions. And uh, all right, so I think that more or less uh, sums up what's going on here. I think the Black Necromancer look is the only one that's actually uh, that's actually reused a couple times because he uses this different Necromancer. But uh, either way, if you like cheating in classes, if you like doing randomizer runs like the ones I was doing earlier, you can get some uh, some fun stuff out of this. Now, next up, uh, spells and stuff. Uh, tier ones got uh, got reduced a little bit. Uh, minor elemental buffs also give uh, resistance. So uh, so yeah, that's useful again. Uh, Drift got renamed to Haze, uh, so it gives you a sidestep and I think it was um, sidestep and dodge, something like that. But uh, it's a lot more useful than Drift, uh, which was previously just water walk. Uh, basically, you already have a uh, wind ability that allows you to hover, so water walk is kind of like that, but worse. And uh, yeah, uh, Exorcism got its range increased. Uh, Drain Heart is actually really strong now, so it got increased to 20%. Now. As far as why that's significant, this essentially means that for some of the super extreme bosses or some of the leader characters, 20% will mean that they're doing like friggin 190 uh, health drain. So uh, so yeah, Terror Knights in many ways just became a boss killer. So it's very, very good as far as that goes. Uh, uh, Gravity Flux and Dead Man's Ivy got changed to AoE abilities, uh, which by the way, uh, they have some little background stuff that I never really uh, never really noticed before, but thankfully the uh, text has changed now. But for example, Gravity Flux, he's actually pretty significant as an uh, area effect ability now, since it does reduce evasion. Uh, I never really realized that before. It's like, well, it's one of those things where I realized it once and then didn't realize it for years to come. But uh, yeah, it does uh, reduce evasion. Uh, also, Dead Man's Ivy uh, just reduces movement. All right, so uh, Beckon works properly now. Steel got an extra range, so if you're leveling up Steel, you know, that's there. Um, and yeah, uh, Dragoon got extra jump. Um, uh, what else here? Oh yeah, a Necromancer can't learn uh, things... Uh, well, he can't learn anything other than dark stuff, so he got... He couldn't really learn that stuff before. He just still had the skills on there for some reason. Um, uh, Paladin got access to some of the uh, Soldier and Swordmaster abilities. And then uh, Songstress got access to some of those uh, Angel Knight abilities. So, um, so, yeah, that about sums it up. Uh, except for the most important change, which I haven't addressed. So, I don't have any that are able to uh, to show this off right now. But a lot of the uh, a lot of the different classes got access to a bunch of different stuff that they didn't have before. So and get uh, get access to some of the stuff that they're supposed to have now. So wingling dealies no longer have access to anything that uses heavy armor. It's gonna be clerics, wizards, archers, swordmasters, warlocks, rogues, that kind of thing. Any dang way. So uh, so yeah, classes got changed. So. Everyone got their MP values uh, adjusted. Uh, there were minor adjustments, uh, such as uh, cockatrices uh, basically aren't as beefy as griffins now. Uh, clerics are less tanky. Vartans are slightly uh, tougher and so on. Uh, which, by the way, the Vartan is now unique to Canopus. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dragoon got an extra tile of jump. Uh, Necromancer, yeah, had that elemental stuff taken away. I already mentioned that. Uh, Angel Knights can't use caster staves other than the light one, and the Paladin got all of those stuffs. But racial stuff, that changed. So, Hawkman, right? Uh, they get access to Archer, Wizard, Cleric, Swordmaster, Rogue, Beast Tamer, Warlock. So basically, no one can fly in heavy armor. So, uh, so all heavy armor classes were removed. Uh, which uh, I'll be interested to see what Mr. Bob Cramhole does with that one. All right, next up, uh, Lizardmen. Got uh, Warrior, Berserker, Dragoon, Fusilier, uh, Beast Tamer, Hoplite, and Juggernaut. So they get no casters and a little bit of a bonga vibe, as he says here, with that Fusilier in there, which, by the way, I've been using one as a Fusilier. It's pretty great to have a tankier Fusilier. Uh, Lamias uh, got uh, Archer, Wizard, Spellblade, Rogue, Beast Tamer, Warlock, Necromancer, and Patriarch. So they get more decks and uh, magic-based stuff. Uh, orcs, I don't think I have an orc on this team. We'll go ahead and use Union. Union, you know, he looks like he fights orcs. Like he's over from Lord of the Rings or something. Uh, they get Warriors, Wizards, Spellblades, Terranites, uh, Berserkers, Juggernauts, and Patriarchs. So they get Strength and Mage. Uh, skeletons get Warrior, Archer, Terranite, Berserker, Swordmaster, and Hoplite. So they get Dex and Strength. Uh, they didn't have Hoplite before, I don't think. 
So if you want to have a human character as a hoplite, there you go. Um, ghosts get wizard, rogue, warlock, and necromancer, so they get necromancers now. Fairies get wizard, cleric, rogue, and familiar. Kremlins get archer, rogue, fusilier, and familiar, so if you want your uh, moogle vibe over there. And pumpkin blades get uh, spell blades, terranites, warlocks, familiars, and songstress. Uh, and on top of all of that goodness, as if it wasn't enough, uh, summons are now available in Denim's uh, shop, which should be over here, I think. Nope. Old man Depresio in that shop. Is she over here? Yes. So if we go over here, yes. Yeah, Selfied, Gnome, Thunderbird, Undyne, Sel Salamander, Wendigo, Wispy, etc. All of those are here now. It's great. It's good stuff. Um, as is Major Heal. Actually, I think that already had Major Heal, too. Any dang ways. So that's all there now. Um, so we have that. Uh, what else was I going to say here? Uh, oh yeah, lifeline gems. Uh, those got returned to stores since, as he notes and uh, puts in the notes here, they can't really fix your mistakes anymore. So they're available at the store, but they are like two grand. So if you need a lot of them, they're there. But uh, either way, stuff's going to get expensive. Also, uh, Pansea, uh, or Pansea, Pansea, whatever, I ended up getting its uh, sprite changed. I think that's from this patch. That might have been from a previous one. I'm not sure. Either way, everything's all nifty and new and great as per usual. So, uh, you know, enjoy. Have fun. Um, looking forward to some more stuff as always. And um, enjoy your ogre battle and all that sort of thing. Take care. Bye.